Okay, we're ready to start turn number 12. And in the last turn, we didn't have an encounter and we didn't have a monster. So yeah, we're just going to move to an unexplored edge and keep on going. So let's bring Driz down. And he has a, a speed of nine at the moment because his speed is seven and we have this ongoing item. So he has a speed of nine at the moment. All right, so we did not need our other surge yet. Uh, we're not attacking. We did move, um, but yeah, there's no attack, so there's no treasure, but we are exploring. I think we're two or three tiles away from... Oh, we're there. We found the underground river. I didn't think we were there yet. I thought we still had a few tiles to go. Somehow that doesn't seem right to me. Let me count this. So we've explored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, it's exactly correct. Okay, just making sure I didn't mess that up. All right, so what happens when we get here? When you reveal the underground tile, your hero has found the way out of the Underdark. Place the surface hollow tile next to the closest unexplored edge of the underground river tile. All right, let's start by doing that. Place the narrow passage, or place the surface hollow tile next to the closest unexplored edge of the underground river tile. So that has to be right here. Okay, so that's placed. Then draw two monster cards and place the corresponding monster figures on the surface hollow tile, one on each mushroom patch. Okay, so one here, one here. Right. <clears throat> now would be a really good time to draw a stalagmite. Okay, so we got a spider swarm. And we'll put that on the fur. Let me just do it now. And let's update our sheet. So for this turn, we're going to have Hunting Drake, a Spider Swarm, and then the next monster, which is a Drow Duelist. Which one is that? Is that this thing? Yeah, Drow Duelist. Okay, so we'll place the Drow Duelist. That seems fitting that the Drow Duelist would be right on the surface hollow tile. Seems quite appropriate. All right. So we have a DD, Drow Duelist. Okay, so let me think about this. Um, technically, I think I messed that up a little bit, but it's it's still very early. I drew this tile, but I didn't place a monster yet for this tile, and I'm... If this is anything like Castle Ravenloft, then you still have to place a monster here. So I should insert... Like, these all need to slide over by one. <clears throat> Let me just check the FAQ really quick. Um... The squares of the chasm and the river and passable figures, let's see. Hmm. Let me see. I'm just going to assume that I also have to draw a monster for that newly drawn tile. That's generally the way the game works. So technically, the rats would go here, <clears throat> the duelist would go here, and then I would draw another, the second monster card for the uh, tunnel thing, and I get a hypnotic spirit. So let's get our monsters organized here. So we got the hunting drake, we got the spider, the drow duelist, and the hypnotic spirit. So what is this? 
the hypnotic spirits, this one, right? I think so. So the hypnotic spirit will go here. <clears throat> Just want to make sure that if I get out of here alive, I did it correctly. And if I'm making it too hard on myself and I still make it out, then okay. All right. So let me just update this. So this, <clears throat> let me see here. So it's okay. So th these are still in the right order. And then the hypnotic spirits last. Oh boy. All right, let's see. So we moved and we got a white tile. Okay, yeah, we placed the the swarm of rats or whatever it is, the swarm of spiders. There's no encounter because that's a white tile. There's no villain, but now all this stuff activates. All right. So first up is the hunting drake. It's just going to move one, two. And still got a little ways to go. So that's that one done. Now the spider swarm will activate. If the spider swarm is on it, it's not. If the spider swarm is within one tile, it moves to the closest nearest tile and attacks. Okay. So luckily this one doesn't do damage. But it's going to move up here. Attack with a plus seven. Of course, it hits and poisons us. Well, let me let me think. Should I remove this now? You can remove your stance. I wonder if I remove the stance, can I not be poisoned? I don't think that's how that works. We'll keep it for now. Okay, now the drow duelist if the drow duelist is within one tile technically it's not because it got placed into the narrow passage so it's two tiles away if the drow duelist is within one tile of a hero so otherwise it moves one tile closer so it's just going to move up here so that's his turn done and then the hypnotic spirit if the hypnotic spirit is within one tile, and it's not, otherwise moves two tiles closer. So it's going to move here, and we'll say here. Okay, so that is going to wrap it up for turn number 12. Pretty exciting. All right, we'll come back for turn number 13.